Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Libras. This is Queen Amara coming to you with a very special reading on today. Hope you all are having a great day today, Libras. But then again, I know you are because that's the intention you set, right? Yes, yeah, we are moving towards this full moon, Libra. What does that mean for you? Let's get into it. You all know that this is a general reading. These cards are the Light Sears Tarot deck by Chris Ann. These cards right here are the self Sacred Self-Care deck, Oracle deck by Jill Pyle. This is a general reading. Again, if you're interested in a personal one, I've talked to a lot of Libras. My information is down below. Let's go. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Libras. Ooh, this car is trying to jump out. In every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality and where they need to take action. What information do we have for my wonderful Libra? <laughs> what information do we have for my wonderful Libras? Libras, listen. As I'm shuffling these cards, information is flowing through right now. It, you know, the the before I even put these cards down, the message that I'm getting already for you all is every single time people try to smear your name, run a run a smear campaign, or make disparaging remarks about you, it actually causes your name to go viral. <laughs> okay, all right, yeah, that's what I'm getting so far. That's what I'm getting. So let's let's put these cards down and see what they have to say. Yes, all right. I want you to first say, I'm a Libra. I am a God. I am romantic. I am charming. I am a great listener. I'm fair-minded. I'm understanding. Mm -hmm. I am cooperative. Uh -huh. I am cooperative. I am diplomatic. I am gracious. I am social, socially inclined, especially when you feel comfortable around people. I see a fresh new start for you. This is what I'm seeing. See this full card? Uh-huh. This is you right here. Um, feeling bright, feeling positive, feeling ready to take on anything. You got your piece of amethyst in your hand. Some of you have your piece of amethyst in your hand, and this resonates with your crown chakra. So you're seeing things from a God level of clarity, right? You're ready for a fresh new start. I see you also being victorious in that, too. We're looking at the Six of Wands. We're going to be talking about the number one today. Also, we have the chariot card. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You all are divine masculine signs. So, again, your energy is directed outward, right? You all are givers. This is where you're balancing out your energy. And, you know, like I said, you all are, your your symbol is, is justice. It's the scales, actually. So, you're justice, right? But your your ruling planet is a divine feminine is a feminine planet, which is Venus. So you're starting to channel your focus to do things that you love the most, like really being delivered from people's opinions of you. And look at you, get into that fire, right? And we're also looking at the emperor card. So some of you all are father figures. It doesn't matter if you identify as a man or woman, but you're an authoritative figure. People see you as being this person who is take charge. Your thoughts are very logical. They make sense. You're a person who gets it done. You have that fire up under you. So some of you all could have Aries in your chart. Mm -hmm. Initiators. Yeah. <clears throat> Somebody's in a relationship. Somebody's in a relationship with the person who they feel like is their twin flame. And yes, I see marriage for you, right? But be in a relationship with somebody who is your twin flame. And again, against all odds, against all naysayers, the relationship is going just great. <laughs> I love it. I love this for you. Take what resonates with you. Take what resonates with you. If you have other placements in your chart, go watch some of the other videos as well. But yes, this is a time where you are pulling in close. This is with that full moon energy. Because remember we talk about how like the um, when when there's a full moon, this is supercharging, put out your, your gemstones and your crystals, supercharging those gemstones and crystals. Imagine what it does for you. It gives you an abundance of energy. So there was a lot of nervous energy, a lot of, like I said, I was, as I was shuffling the cards, I'm getting, there were people who were naysayers, people who were doing all kinds of stuff to disrupt the flow of what was going to happen anyway. Like I said, marriage, fresh new start, new beginning, you know, but this is a time where... You are nourishing those relationships and people around you, people who would nourish you, people who inspire you, people who support you. They support your life. They support your work, right? And start being grateful for the people around you 
who really, really just, you know, add that extra spark to your life. Let's talk about number one. Like number one, we know that when we think about the number one, it's a new beginning. And this is part of the reason why we're talking about number one, because this full moon for many people is a fresh new start. Like, okay, I am starting a fresh new beginning. I feel positive. I feel free. I feel energetic. I feel alive. I feel regal. You know, those kind of things. We're talking about the color purple, and I'm also talking about the color yellow here, right? Just so when you step into the vibration of the number one, number ones carry themselves with dignity. They like to stand out. They're proud. They're achievement oriented. They represent, the number one represents the primal impulse and has a strong self-worth. Number ones demand respect and they feel like they're set apart from others because they really, really are. It's something about you standing and in, stepping into the vibration of the number one that causes you to really, really stand out, right? Matter of fact, I have a mantra for you, right? So as a number one, you want to say, I am one with my mind. I am one with my heart and soul. I magically create miraculous opportunities for me to accomplish anything. Again, against all odds, against all the naysayers. Every time somebody tries to run a smear campaign or try to do something to harm you, this full moon is putting some things in perspective for a lot of people. Like, you know what? I'm only going to focus my attention on on my loved ones, people who I genuinely love and they genuinely love me, right? There's no more lopsidedness in relationships. All the other naysayers and haters, bye. <laughs> just, just goodbye. Goodbye and good riddance. Yeah. It's like you're not even giving any energy. Like don't start nothing, won't be nothing. You're not giving that energy anymore. It's more or less like, you know what? I don't even want to have any, I'm not even going to waste my time even entertaining foolishness at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm that's how you win victoriously mm hmm yeah yeah mm hmm yeah so look here we go the five of wands so not only were you around and this is why I like to shuffle the cards in front of you all because again when you look at this energy right here, you know that there were people around you who have a lot of conflicting energy, but it's their own con conflict within themselves, right? The jealousy, the the um, spectator energy. This I'm, gonna, I'm just going to wait and see and see how this thing turns out. But guess what? No matter what they said or did, they actually ended up burning themselves. They were all caught red-handed. They were all exposed. So no matter what they did, they actually ex ended up exposing themselves. Yes. Your intuition was right there, front and center. Your third eye wide open. Even when you were asleep, information was being downloaded into your spirit. Yeah. Closer and closer we get to this full moon. And some of those people, those conflicting energies, you were like, nope, got to go. See you. See you, see you, see you. I'm done. I'm completely done, right? Your ancestors are right here watching over you, just leading the way, saying, come on, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lead you on out of this battlefield with these conflicting energies. And it wasn't just one person. It was quite a few people, right? But you guess what? You are healed. You are completely healed, right? Some people are still in the process of healing. But when I say you're healed as in the past, you are healed, you are completely healed from all of the betrayal, the jealousy, the lies, the naysayers, the whole nine yards. There's a lot of people who have egg on their face. <laughs> a lot of people who have egg on their face. The full card is attached to the planet Uranus or Uranus. And then the star card is Aquarius' card, which is um, Aquarius' ruling planet uh, Uranus. Right? And I see you being completely fearless. Moving forward, you like, I have a duty and a responsibility to be happy, to, you know, happy, to be filled with joy, to be at peace. Peace flows to me like water. I'm peaceful in every area of my life, my, my professional life, my um, romantic life. Even if, I, if I'm single, my energy is completely balanced out. And this is for my single people too. This is um, your energy being completely balanced out. You're divine masculine by default, but this is your divine masculine to your divine feminine, making sure you are whole and complete. Again, energy is completely balanced out. So yeah, you're fearless, right? And I also see you being a lot more conservative with your money and I see you traveling. This is what I'm seeing. Yeah. So all the naysayers and the haters and people who, you know, doubt it, um, your success, good luck for them. 
<laughs> because because it actually ended up backfiring. Yeah. Everything that was spoken out against you, Libra, actually backfired. It, oh, my gosh. Actually backfired in. We're going to pull up all these cards. This is a lot of information that the universe. So I'm not even going to try to. I'm not restarting this because none of this is by coincidence. Clean your space. Continue cleaning your space. See how this person is just taking. But it, of course, it looks like they're doing spring cleaning, right? And in some place, parts of the world, it is spring. So again, you're clearing your space. You are journaling. Mm -hmm. you are jour you're starting to journal. You're clearing your energy field. Mm -hmm. You're clearing your energy field. Uh huh. Some of you, like I said, some major adjustments are happening for a lot of you all. Your sound healing, your healing bowls, these sound healing bowls. Yes, a lot of things are happening with you all. Some of you all are planning your vacation, possibly your honeymoon. <laughs> but again, you're planning vacations. A lot of major things happening for you. You're making an altar. Yes, your spiritual altar. Right, you're giving thanks. You're in a posture of gratitude. Again, you are giving thanks um, to the people around you for, let's say, not to the, but for the people around you that have been a constant joy and a source of peace and a source of calm and a source of balance in your life because you just don't want any drama, right? You're doing things, pleasurable things for yourself. Yes. You're, you're doing a lot of pleasurable things for yourself, which is great. You're building your mental strength, your spiritual strength. So a lot of major things are happening. So when, when cards fly out the deck, for me, it's like, okay, you got to go with it because this is what the universe is trying to give to this person. It's really, really you in a place of just where people didn't think that you would be. Your, your money is looking great. Your money, these naysayers couldn't disrupt your money. They couldn't disrupt your peace. They couldn't disrupt any part of your life. The only time they tried, they disrupted it in the past is because you paid these type of people attention. But now you're like, I'm going to focus all of my attention moving forward on the people that matter most in my life. And look at the result. Look at the result. Abundance all around you. That's what I have for you, Libras. Have a great one. Bye.